Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Chengo World. So in today's video, we are going to see basic authentication. So basic authentication is a type of authentication mechanism in Django REST framework that allows a client to auth authenticate themselves by providing a username and password in HTTP request header. And in basic authentication, the client's username and password are encoded using base64 sent in the authorization header of the HTTP request. Upon receiving the request, the server decodes the credentials and verifies them against the user database. And if the credentials are valid, the server returns the requested response. Otherwise, it will return 401 unauthorized error response. Okay. And in Django REST framework, basic authentication is implemented as middleware that that sits between the client and the view okay and uh, it is provided as a built-in authentic authentication class and can be added to the views or view sets by specifying it in the settings.py globally or in individual classes by variable named as authentication underscore classes okay so enough the enough of the theoretical part so let's jump into computer screen and see this in action so here i am on my computer screen now first i am just gonna clean the code a little bit so here i am gonna go to blog underscore rest underscore api of a project directory and in this url i'll just delete this line okay so this is basically the authentication link of the django rest framework now we don't need this so i'll just delete it okay after that i'll close this file and uh, i'll just open the browser and here i'll say django rest framework.org and here i'll go to authentication and in base authentication um let me scroll a bit Okay, so here I need to add this line, basically hold this thing in my settings.py. So if you want to allocate basic authentication to all the classes, I mean the globally, then you can directly add this one. Okay. Otherwise, you need to import the uh, basic authentication from the rest framework dot authentication you can import this basic authentication and using the authentication underscore classes variable and in the list you can pass this basic authentication okay so you can restrict the particular view by importing this way okay and if you want to restrict globally then you can use this one so we are just gonna see one method you can implement this one by your own okay this is very similar to the permission classes okay but just you need to take care of this variable you need to write authentication underscore classes that's it after that everything is same okay so if you get any doubt while performing this this method let me know in the comments i will definitely try to help you okay for now to keep the video short let's go for this one so i'll just copy this go to settings.py now here i will paste it now here i'll keep only one variable because i don't want to override this both so what i'm, I'm gonna do is i'll just cut this one remove this now i'll write comma over here and paste that one now i don't need this session authentication i want only this okay save it I don't want this uh, global is authenticated permission so I'll comment this okay now this basic authentication is being applied to every classes so let's go to the website and I think we are done so 
what I'm gonna do over here is I'll go to views.py okay and I will check for the permission which has authentication is authenticated not authentication sorry yeah this blog comment list create view okay so I go to rapid API blog list here so if I try to throw the get request sorry body I will just remove this text okay so I have not provided any username or anything okay I have not provided you can see so I am gonna go to none in this auth tab now if I click on send okay so my server is not running I need to activate the environment and run the server send the request okay this is category I guess yeah blog comment yeah so I'll just remove this so if I try to send okay so this link is restricted okay now here you can see that authentication credentials were not provided so if I go to body not body here in the authentication base and if I try to pass the admin I mean username and the password okay send you can see we are now able to access this particular view okay now if I erase this uh, credentials okay and if I go to header so if I try to access the information from the headers like I will pass the password and the username in the headers so here you can come to headers and write authorization okay and here you can say um, basic and after that you can pass admin and admin okay just send the request now you can see this asked us to write the credentials in the base 64 encoded format so now what i'm gonna do over here is i will encode this uh, particular username and password okay and then i'll pass that encoded string in the field so here i'll go to base64 encode.org now here you can just copy this admin colon admin and paste that over here see this carefully sorry see this very carefully okay i have wrote colon over here i'll just say decode it's decode i need to say encode okay here encode so click here on add code and then you can you need to paste that so here you need to click on encode now so we got this string i'll just copy that one okay go to vs code back now i will just remove this username and password and i'll paste that string now if i click on send credentials were not provided why okay so i'll say authorization and basic and the string send okay so before i don't know why it was not able to send the request but after writing manually it basically accepted so i hope you got idea about this uh, decoding part okay so see whenever you go to auth and from the basic if you will pass the username and password it will allow you to uh, access the information and if you try to authenticate using headers then you need to pass the username and password which is encoded using base64 okay so whenever you will send the request it will automatically decode the uh, string which we have passed the encoded string which you have passed okay and uh, it will verify in the database and it will basically return you the response so if i go ahead copy this one go to decoding go to decode 
paste that and if I try to decode then you can see I got the same string which I have passed using encoding okay so I hope you got idea about this one okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and I hope you got idea about uh, this uh, base authentication and from next video we are going to start token authentication and it is going to be pretty long uh, concept and it is very important too okay so yeah see you there